In order to develop a low adhesion chewing gum, it is essential to make a very large number of different samples so that we can refine both the structure, the texture, the feel and the adhesiveness of our gum samples. So to do this on a lab scale is a bit of a challenge. We don't want to make kilograms of polymer that turns out to be useless uh, in, in the chewing gum formulation. We have purchased a small twin screw extruder so that we can make half gram samples of chewing gum. The machine is a Harker Mini Lab and it has the advantage where, that we can control the torque, we can control the temperature and, the pro and other processing conditions. When we've closed the machine we add the ingredients to the extruder sequentially. It's important at each stage that the, the ingredients are mixed homogeneously. We do this in several different phases. It's important not to add all the ingredients in one go because, because of the natural incompatibility of the materials. Um, this can lead to phase separation and gum failure. The addition is normally in three steps. In the first step, we add the elastomer, some of the resin, and some of the other polymeric ingredients. We allow the extruder to mix the ingredients until we are sure they're homogeneously mixed. This is repeated three times, sequentially adding all the ingredients until we have the final gum-based ingredients all inside the extruder. We then allow the machine to mix for a further half an hour to an hour, depending on the formulation that we're making. When the gum base is finally finished, we can turn on the tap at the bottom of the extruder and allow the gum base material to come out, which we then collect for further use.